Mikhail Elizadeh used to give dance lessons in secret in Iran. She moved to Turkey in 2015 after receiving threats, fearing she'd be jailed for being a dancer. A neighbor had even reported her to the police. They accused her of being a prostitute. I had to make a choice, she says, between dancing or living in Iran. Now she is hoping to use her voice from abroad for change in her home country. Elisa Day is one of hundreds of Iranians who have attended protests in Turkey, triggered by the death of Masa Amini. We are going to win this time. This government is cruel. This government is a killer. Cruelty is not sustainable. Its end has come. She and others are calling for the downfall of the Islamic Republic. Amini died in the custody of Iran's morality police after being detained for violating strict codes requiring women to dress modestly in public. The unrest in Iran and around the world has become one of the boldest challenges to Iran's rulers since the 1979 revolution. Sometimes people say that if you are abroad, you cannot do anything, but that is not the case. Indeed, people in Iran have become very strong right now, and it's all because of that, thanks to our protests and support around the world, thanks to the support of women and men in Turkey. It really gives us strength and hope.